On this episode of The Honorary One, we're going to be installing the KST Spearheads from the Vanguard Collection. We're going to raise the bar. Right now, Chad's taking apart my cluster. Your fingers are too fat. That's what she said. So we're out here installing the Spearhead by KST and we're going over different things. One thing that they say, a lot of the things that you see on the internet is that you can install these bars with the stock cables uh, and the stock wiring and all that. What we're looking at right here is we're gonna have to extend the wires a little bit. Chad was ex explaining a little bit more in detail what he means. Um, Chad, could you show us exactly what you're talking about? Uh, what we're talking about is just this is how it's set up factory. That's yes. that's how we see all bars come in. Uh, some people, and it's not that it's wrong with connectors, will take these loose mm -hmm. and and move them over to the side or something to make the length instead of buying an extension. The problem with that is is that that thing's in there just floating around. Mm -hmm. It can get pinched, broke, whatever. So what you're saying is they just snap some of these? They actually just come on snap. Snap those loose and then let those hang down where you can connect them. But like you were saying earlier, then your connectors hanging down here. Where just you, floating around you're floating around and then your cables you were talking about your brake lines and same stuff thing well. when we we install a set of bars and we have something like that we, we want to make sure that our cable our uh, brake and clutch cable have no chance of getting rubbed scraped broke we don't mm -hmm. want none of that to happen to anybody we try to make sure that when we install something that it's going to be okay it's going to be okay for a long time right it's not going to be something you're going to go a month later and i have to replace yeah because that's or... that's a big deal when you're out there on the roads having a peace of mind and what you're doing is giving me a peace of mind now that we did everything we dotted and, and crossed right the eyes and what the fuck you know what i mean yeah so one other thing we want to i wanted to touch base on is we hear a lot of people talking about the pin the pin of Harley Davidson and their handlebars coming out of the riser here. That's the pin that we're talking about. Right. And in this case, we're going to actually have to knock the pin loose in order to install this bar. Okay. So what you'll do is knock the knock this pin. All we're going to do out. is just go, it's, it's a press pin. We're going to knock it down. It'll okay. still be in there. It's not hurting anything. Okay. Uh, and that way we can install the. the and bar. so on these particular bars here, they actually have a rubber underneath, and we'll we'll look at that right here. Uh, Chad was showing me earlier so what they've got here and these are the spearheads by kst just to let you know we were talking about earlier about stamp, uh, knocking that pin out so the pin will be underneath it'll knock out then what they're they've got here is this rubber that uh squeezes down and puts pressure in there and as we were looking on the instructions and stuff they said after 700 miles you need to retorque this so that's something you can think about as well so if you install these you'll have to knock that pin out um, you do have to do some extensions here, and that's what we're getting into right now. But we did want to take the time and show you guys this. But another thing that we haven't talked about on film here is Chad and I was talking about, too, there's no gnarling on this at all. It's just paint. 
So what we're curious to see over time, if the paint stays um, and doesn't chip out, because in the past we've all seen paint underneath screws and stuff chip out and then the screw will get loose or vice versa and a lot of other different things that you use. So that's gonna be something that we're gonna keep an eye on as well. With uh, the other bars that you've installed, you've had to do aftermarket or extension of your cables. You think you're gonna have two on these? It doesn't look like we're going to. Uh, we're gonna know for sure once we get them on there. Yeah. Have you ever installed ran. these? I have not. But you've installed some KSTs? Yes, we've installed a lot of them, Yeah, actually. All right, cool. These Clevises for you guys' bike stock won't work on these. There is a way to make them work. These are pinned here. And I've seen people who actually shave them down and then reinstall them. We'd have to grind the pen off. What's going on is you don't have a hole here. And see if it would clear. It might clear that. So if you still wanted to run them, we'd have to grind the pen. Do what you want to do or? So I, what you guys were talking about is just something that we do get into and we get into on the front side explaining there's a lot out there saying that, you know, these bars go on without any kind of needing cables, brake line, wire extension. And uh, sometimes we find that that's not necessarily the case, just like here, as far as doing it the right way. And that's the only way to do it. Um, we're not looking for short term, get them on, get you out this weekend. We're looking for years down the road for you not to have any issues. And, and Harley didn't put this here in this nice little holder for us to take it out and let it dangle around. So that's something that we just think very strongly about here. And then that's what should be done. And then you got people like me, we're trying to do as cheap as possible, of course. You know, we're trying to get away. We read online, we mm -hmm. go to threads and different things and we talk. Sure. Now there's different 
bars out there that you may get away without doing anything to them. We're not saying that's not possible. What we're saying is what we're seeing here with these bars. Great set of bars, by the way. Absolutely. Love yeah. the bars. I think they're going to look awesome. Uh, I love I love what they've done with all their bars. I've seen them up at Daytona, personally, seen all their bars. I've met them face-to-face. Uh, -face. They're great people. Uh, we're excited to have their product on our bike, but we do want to do things the right way, and we don't want to lead anybody wrong. So what we're showing you is the truth, yeah. and this is what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, somebody may do it differently. Well, and I agree with that. I mean, we do a lot of business with this company. I mean, they're a family-owned and operated company. When I call them, a lot of times I get the owner on the phone when I place orders or whatnot. And, you know, any issues which have been very few and far between that I've ever had, I mean, they jump on it. They take care of it. I think you're really paired up with a, a good company so. as far as your product goes here. So, yeah, not to say anything bad there, but, you know, there's a way that we want to do it. Uh, that might be different than the way that everybody does it, but it's something that we feel passionate about. I do see where somebody like Chad was saying somebody could unclip and you might be able to route stuff differently. We're not saying you can't once again, but we're going to do things the way we believe yes. is going to be right for us. Yep. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's what she said. I can tell that what I'm used to as far as... Uh, Hand to hand, it's a little wider. You know, from here to here, palm to palm, thumb to thumb, it's a little wider. I'm, it, I'm not like this so much now. I'm more like this. Yeah, I'm just a little bit. Yeah, out a little bit more, which feels good. Yeah, I think that's a foam show. I think that's the titties. Tits, bro. Tits. Tits, bro. So we got to discussing these bars because they, they look really tall. So from the, top, from the top of, of the that, bar to yeah, where yeah. center of where your hands would so be, is 14, that is 14, but to the peak, it's about, 16. it's about 16. So that'll give you guys a little... And these are an inch match and a half. And that's showing an inch and a half across there. So... The reason why we're looking at this stuff because once we got them on there and we were walking around the bike, I was like, damn, those look massive. They look great, I like them. But they do, for, from what I was you know, expecting, they look quite a bit taller. Super beefy. It's like we said, an inch and a half, which I was expecting. I was kind of thinking inch and a quarter. I like the inch and a half whenever I was looking at bars. So these are... We'll give you a view from the outside as of, as of now. We still got to get on it and adjust it. I feel like a new kid. Yeah. I mean, a, a kid with. New I feel kid. like a new kid. <laughs> I don't want an old kid. I want a new kid. <laughs> so let's them old kids. Ooh, a little different. Yeah. I that earlier. Ooh, a lot different. So what I'm doing right now is taking my time. Oh, this is all different. We got a new foam mount, new bars. I'm trying to get everything totally different here. Backing out of Denny's Harley Davidson up here after doing all these mods over the last couple of months. All right, this is what's going on. Right now, I'm really anticipating this bike. Uh, the mods that we have on it right now, of course, we, we put a new front tire on, which is not really a mod, but we got a new front tire. Uh, we have new, a bunch of new lots from Custom Dynamics. We have a new tour pack by Advan Black. And we have new rear shocks by Legends. And then we just installed new bars from KST. I have a new foam mount by Kerry Aukin. I'm trying to go over everything. Yeah, super excited. So, like I said, I'm up here at Denny's Harley-Davidson, Springfield, Missouri. Of course, Steph and I live in Harrison, Arkansas. So we're going to buzz out of here and we're going to hit 65 South and head down that way. If you guys watched our videos, you've seen me ride that 
stripped in there quite a bit. Right now I'm doing some adjusting. We also threw on a brand new seat by Mustang. The Touring Deluxe, they did the stitching in gray and we also have the Omni one embroidered on the side. So I'm getting my backrest adjusted right now. Wow. Everything's my darts. Thank you, love. Ah. Also, I need to mention, if you look in the mirror there, I am running the new Arai helmet. It is the new Arai Regent X. And as you can see there, I've got the Senna Evo on. I'll absolutely love it. All right, it's been a minute. Woo, I'm excited. Let's get some tunes on. Get my Pandora up. I listen to a lot of the 80s. They've detailed my bike. All nice and clean. Crazy. Get used to all my settings here. Woo. All right. There's Steph and old Chevrolet. Old squeaky belt. <laughs> yeah, bars are a little different. Uh, you know, you got a little bit more pressure on you. It reminds me of the old hardtail with my apes on it. I got a little bit of that reminding me of it. I also am getting, like I said, used to these Legend Shocks. They're a little bit taller. Not nothing I can really tell uh, after being on it for a minute, but just jumping on it, you do think about it. I'm going to shut my lid. i got to figure out all the vents on this thing. The bars. There's no doubt about them. They're badass. They look, they look fucking cool as shit. Great looking bars. Uh, we did the install today. So we just got them on 30, 45, an hour ago. Uh, so these are the spearheads. Uh, you can adjust these this way. So you can adjust your hands. Get off the phone, lady. You can adjust them in and out this way, plus back and forth. Uh, like I said, they're adjustable, as you can see right here. They have a video online on their website about the installment. Like I said, this has been our video about the installment. This is what we uh, dealt with installing them, putting them on. Um, they weren't that bad at all. We did a couple. I do not like riding here and that lady texting I just seen she's behind me uh, guys stay off your fucking phone when you're driving for God's sakes you ain't gotta check your fucking Instagram every fucking quarter mile or text that loved one that you've got to stay in contact and take a chance of taking somebody else's loved one out Ugh. Sorry. It's my rant. I guess that's my that's my rut, raw thoughts. Stay off your fucking phone. Steph and I see people out all the time driving with their damn knees, which fine, I can drive my knees. Look, she's on the phone right now. Fucking dove ass. <coughs> driving with your knees on the phone, I mean, good god. I mean driving with your knees drinking a beer. At least, you know, you can kind of kick one back and keep your eyes on the road. And fucking people are. <laughs> That's a joke. Don't drink and drive. Because you might hit a bump and spill your beer. <laughs> Michael Scott. <clears throat> Sorry, a little coffee. Yep, yeah, these bars are going to work. Thoughts on the bars. They got me. They got my bot. My, let me get this right. Get my southern twain out of the way. They have my back in an upright position, which with my stock bars, I was leaning forward, kind of hunched over. 
much, much better. 